Welcome to Lillian's Test Kitchen. My name is Lillian and I make grain-free, dairy-free, cane sugar-free, and soy-free recipes for the very first time on camera. I wish that I could save you. It's is there a board? Is there like, do you have to get voted in? Is it like, um, the UN? <laughs> is it like a government agency that's like, kind of maybe independent from interests? like from the food industry. I wonder if there's a certain amount of mineral content it has to have in order to be considered a superfood, or if it has to do a certain number of things. Like, you know, it cures this kind of cancer and it's delicious. Hooray! Hooray, it's a superfood. Like, what's the qualifications? Superfood is an unscientific marketing term there is no legal definition of the term, and it has been alleged that this has been led to uh, being mi a misleading use in marketing. Yeah, so it's actually, it sounds very similar to like, if you want to get eggs that were cruelty free, yeah. that there are a bunch of labels that often get slapped on eggs yeah. that don't have that, any sort of rigorous... That don't necessarily mean anything. It doesn't mean that something that's considered a superfood isn't super, super healthy. It just doesn't mean that there's no high standard that people are being held to. Right. But that means that we can say that this that means, is a superfood yes, as much as we want. Because there's no there's no legal definition, so therefore I get to say that this smoothie is a superfood. Hooray! Hooray! When really the most superfoods is just like real foods.